Welcome to Telma's video training on the different types of Telma retarders and how to check their air gap and end play. The air gap is the distance between the rotors and pole shoes. We'll need a few tools for this test. First is a dial indicator, a feeler gauge, and a medium flat blade screwdriver or small pry bar. We'll first look to see which type of Telma retarder we have. If the retarder is mounted to the chassis, we have a frame mounted or axial Telma. If the Telma is mounted to the axle, we have a focal Telma. The frame mounted Telma serial and part number will be on the white tag and stamped into the steel on the bottom of the Telma stator for the AC model retarders. For the focal or FN and AD model retarders, the serial tag and stamping is on the top of the retarder, near the connecting block. For our example here, the retarder part number is DK311387, and the serial is 352435, so the model retarder we have is an FN72-40. Now that we know which retarder we have, we can look up what the air gap specification of our retarder is. For most Telmas, we'll look at our quick reference guide. For every Telma offered, air gap specifications can be found in the condensed specifications documents OC441211 for ACADAE and OC441212 for focal. These manuals are available in PDF form on our website www.telmausa.com. We can see for the retarder we're looking for, the DK311387, we look at the quick reference guide and the average air gap specification is 0.055 to 0.061 inches. We know that the average air gap should be between 0.055 and 0.061 inches. We'll combine our feeler gauges to a thickness between those two numbers and put the feeler gauge in between the rotor and the pole shoe. If the feeler gauge is too small, we'll want to increase its thickness until it does not fit and record the thickness that does fit. If the feeler gauge does not fit, we'll want to reduce the thickness of the feeler gauge until it does fit to get the maximum thickness that fits in between the rotor and the pole shoes. Then, we repeat the same steps in each of the four corners of the retarder for the front side and then average the numbers together. Then, repeat the same steps for the rear side and average the rear side numbers together. This will tell us the average air gap of front and back of the retarder, and we can compare this number to the spec of our retarder. Depending on our retarder type, the air gap may differ from top to bottom of the retarder, but we will want to average all the numbers together. Now we can use our medium screwdriver or small pair of 18-inch pry bars to check end play by putting it between the rotor and pole shoe at the bottom of the Telma. Pry gently back and forth toward the front and rear of the vehicle and also try to pull the rotor in and out. If there is any rotor movement compared to the stator, we want to measure the total movement with a dial indicator and record it. Now we can identify which retarder we have find the specs on the air gap, measure the air gap and rotor end play of the retarder. For end play deviations with your focal retarder, the retarder mounted on the axle, please contact the axle manufacturer. While doing this test, if you have any deviations to the results we gathered here, please consult our technical support webpage at www.telmausa.com or call us at 800-797-7714. Thank you for watching.